listen, you've seen my other art. I could have given them knives, but I went easy on them. When I make fan art, for some reason, I can't just make it cute. Like, I do sometimes make it a little bit... A little bit suspicious, a little evil. Like Spongebob with a knife. If you look at this Garfield too hard, you start to think about some things. This is Kermit straight up telling you to commit crimes. <laughs> but for Bingo and Bluey, I was like, no, I'll leave them be. I won't, I won't do anything. But you know what? I can't say the same for Muffin. Muffin? Muffin's going to jail. Where is she? She's getting booked. And there we are. <laughs> like me yeah you've seen my profile picture yeah you understand that i look like wet concrete oh, whatever one second i want to thank you don't matter what you think a different gender best friend is a red flag i'm sorry emily i don't think we can be friends anymore and tell your boyfriend i fucking hate him too now like i i can't oh uh hey jacob says he doesn't want to see you anymore <laughs> decision of my life oh no what did you do let me explain ever since i started my youtube channel i've wanted a lamborghini yeah who doesn't want a lamborghini over the last few years i've done some pretty crazy things for views you mean copying mr beast <laughs> jumped out of a movie vehicle off a bridge belly flopped in a thousand mousetrap even dated my best friend's little sister his little sister bro what do you mean by that anyways yesterday my dreams finally came true and i paid for my dream car in cash but here's where it gets bad did you crash your car i spent every last penny in my bank account to get this car why would you spend everything you have on a car Just go Sell it or something. Which means I literally can't even pay for freaking parking. But wait, do I even need to? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's illegal if you don't. Not when you have a Lamborghini. Subscribe for a thousand dollars. I thought you just said you were broke. Hey man, don't subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. The world is so small. Till it ain't, till it ain't, till it ain't, till it ain't. <laughs> Jogada Telling you a scary story using this filter, part six. It's a quiet evening in Nigeria. Quinton is in his hotel room watching girls. Suddenly, the hotel phone rings. ding a ling a ling a ling Quinton picks up the phone and answers it. Hello? <laughs> He's met with silence, but then a creepy voice whispers through the phone. Quentin, California girl. Who is this? Who are you? Says Quentin. It's me, John Travolta. <laughs> Quentin gags in horror. <clears throat> Please leave me alone. I have gonorrhea. But the line goes dead. 
Quinton looks back to the TV. The channel has changed. On the screen, Peppa Pig. No, please. I'm vegan. Quinton crawls to the door of the hotel. But in the way stands a shadowy figure. It's John Travolta. And in his hand, a... you'll find in my emotional support classroom. Throwback day in the life to the time I traumatized my kids at an art installation. Back in 2018, we went to something billed as Family Day at the Watermill Art Center. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I definitely didn't expect this. I think it's a real guy. Things are definitely taking a turn. Okay. So moving on to something called the Time Bomb Barn. We entered the barn to find a gondolier with a pale, very still woman lying in the boat. Mazzy asked if it was a funeral. She's singing. Good news, she's not dead. Weird. Understatement of the century. The next room had a bunch of messages on flags, one telling us not to be afraid of anyone. But I think thanks to this event, Harlow was going to be afraid of everyone for the rest of her life. Next, the kids ran outside and entered a blue box where a film was playing, but it looked like a guy was about to light a bed on fire with a woman in it, so I hustled the kids out of there. Things were looking a little lighter with a bunch of guys in velour tracksuits playing pool in a hole, but then we spotted the dehydrated mermaid. Thankfully, Harlow determined it was not a real mermaid. Zippers? Right there. Oh, yeah, so it can't be real, right? No. We had some cotton candy, checked out the naked people in the woods. What are they doing? I don't know. They're just in their underwear playing with strings from the tree. And Harlow wondered if perhaps they did anything else. <laughs> he looks like he does. Music is terrible. Yeah, I think that's, that's part of the heart. The mermaid started to catch up with us, so we got to witness her last gasp of breath. Then we came across a woman in a dress, chowing down on a man's shoulder. I told Harlow that the man was made out of white chocolate, but I don't think that made it any better. There was a plant head buried underground speaking Portuguese. <laughs> he asked my nephew Jack how he was doing. Jack, how are you, Jack? And I think what he wanted to answer was really freaked out. The last thing we saw before we decided to get the hell out of there was a bunch of green men dancing to what appeared to be computer startup sounds. I'm always hoping that one of the artists sees this video because I have a lot of questions, including who is going to pay for my kids' therapy.